Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Ryan from Nank and Hobby in Southgate here. We got another really cool unboxing video and running foot and we're gonna have some running footage of the new Losi Polaris Razor Ray. Uh, this is a new truck that kind of came out with a fairly new platform, kind of a redesign of uh, some previous models that they had. So we're gonna get right into it, start unboxing this bad boy and see what see what the leaves in jail for us. Let's see here. So I have not really opened this up too much yet. All right. Other than just this box right here, there's nothing else inside the box here for us. That makes it nice and easy. I'll leave that on the side here. Now this is a two cell or three cell rated vehicle. Um, your average battery size can be right around 4,500 to 5,500 milliamps is what Spectrum or what Horizon Hobby recommends for this bad boy. Um, it's going to come in two different colors there. So we have this uh, blue. This is actually kind of like a OEM paint scheme that Polaris has for one of their razors. And then there's also a Fox Edition, which is going to be just like this one right here on the box. Very, very neat color scheme, very similar to that DBXL that you'll see that they offer. So let's go ahead and get this guy pulled out of here. There's a couple zip ties just located all the way around this. We got those out of the way. We can finally take the truck off of this little box. So we're gonna set the car aside here. We're gonna take a look at what other little accessories would come in here. Like I said, guys, this is my first look at it. So I have not peeked in here just yet. Let's see. They really got this packed in here. All right, so within the box. Looks like you're getting a Spectrum DX3, which is definitely a nice uh, nice remote for the price that you're paying for this guy. You're also getting some AA batteries. Looks like a little wind scoop, uh, some servo accessories, but that's about it. Yeah, nothing too else more besides the instruction manual. So. And other than that, there's nothing left in the box. All right, after all that loud crashing. So, like I said, you get the Spectrum DX3. Uh, pretty nice radio just for just to get you going. Um, it's definitely a little bit of an upgrade versus the STL or the yeah yeah I think it's the STL that they have as well. But all right, so first looks. This is definitely a little bit smaller than I was thought. I thought it was going to be. I figured it'd be a hair bit bigger, but it's definitely a neat little platform. Um, they really got a lot of stuff jumbled in here. That's for sure. Let's see here. Give you guys a little bit closer look to this guy here. We'll get up and personal here in just a minute for you. So to get the body off, there's a clip under each front fender. And then same with the rear. There's two little clips that sit right under here. And at that point, I'll let you take the body straight up and off. And it does have a light kit, but the cool thing is, is with this guy, is they actually include the light kit within the front bumpers and the rear bumper. So it's not attached to the body, which is pretty nice because I've, I've always hated when uh, you have a light kit within the body and you take the body off and you end up ripping it out and kind of gets ruined that way a little bit. Uh, there is a little antenna that sits in the back here. Other than that, it's very uh, very similar to the low C Baja Ray that they have. So let's get you guys a little bit closer, a closer look in here and see what the, see what she offers. All right, so here's a little bit of a closer look to this low C Razor Ray. So you're getting that short core style tire where it's a 2.2 to three inch, but these are a little taller. You can see there. Very nice universals, all metal drive shafts throughout this whole entire thing, even in the rear. You'll see that really cool trailing arm setup that the that Losi has set up for this. Super neat, very realistic here, that's for sure. And it's pretty neat, it's coming with a full aluminum chassis on the bottom here, all the way across. 
One thing I really do like about the Baja Race series that Tra or, uh, not Trax, this Losi has been doing is their control arms. I like how they're all super solid like this. And there's little pillow balls in here. Looks like you might be able to add a sway bar in the future. I believe that's what that would be for. And then here, this is where you're gonna house the battery. So it's a little clip and then you'll be able to flip this up. Very similar battery tray to the Tenacity series of their trucks. So this tray is a pretty short tray in here. So you're not gonna be able to fit super long packs, unfortunately. It looks like it's only gonna be traditional uh, long packs in this guy here. And this will run two cell or a three cell in it. And then you can see on this other side here. So you are getting a 3,800 million, or sorry, 3,800 kV 3S motor from Spectrum with a nice heat sink on there. And with this heat sink, you can add the fan separate as well if you ever want to get a fan for it. And then for the ESC, you're getting Spectrum's Firma. 130 amp ESC in there. And then right here will be your power button. And a nice feature is getting that AVC receiver. So it's gonna have that nice st stability track and everything like that to help this keep this thing a uh, little under control on the high power. So yeah, it's a quick little overview of this new Losi Razor Ray. It's definitely a really neat vehicle. I'm real curious to see how this drives. I know we have a little bit of uh, some crappy weather on our way here to, uh, to Michigan here, so we're probably gonna end up throwing some paddles on this bad boy and run it in the snow. Hopefully we get enough of it here. I tell you what, this body is super detailed as well. Very, very cool. It's almost identical copy to the Polaris 1000 that they have, their 1000 Trail, I believe is what it's considered. Yeah, very cool. All right, so that kind of concludes our little unboxing and quick overview of the Losi Razor Ray. So like I mentioned before, is with uh, this weather that's coming our way, we're gonna probably throw some paddles on this bad boy and see what she can do. Once the weather clears up for sure, we're going to also uh, see what it can do on just the stock tires, just kind of an out-of-box thing. So look forward to that. We'll see you shortly.
here. We, or I ended up taking this guy out to uh, the Woodhaven um, skate park area, the little volleyball course right across from it, right across from the parking lot of that place. And we kind of ripped it in there since it's not being used right now. Um, it did really well. I was really surprised um, kind of the amount of traction it had, especially in that loose sand and everything like that. Um, I did have some worries about it flipping over fairly easy with it. It wasn't too bad. Um, if you did corner a little too fast, it can flip over just with this style of cage and body and everything like that. That will happen. Um, but I was actually pretty impressed. You can power slide it pretty well, as you can see in the video that we uh, have here for you with some of the running footage for it. Um, but all in all, it was actually not too bad. Um, one thing I would say is I would think I would like it to be a little bit faster, have a little more power behind it. Um, I was a little shocked behind that one, but uh, I did look in the manual and there's quite a bit of room for gearing. So you can always gear this up a little bit. Um, motor temperatures weren't too bad, actually. It was actually fairly cool to the touch, um, just with my bare hand alone. Um, so that definitely wasn't too bad. It's got a decent heat, uh, heat sink on the fan to help keep that motor cool. Um, when it came down to concrete driving and stuff like that, it was a little bit tippy. It had a lot of traction with these style of tires, so maybe a harder compound tire if you were to run on concrete would be a little better to help it slide around a little more versus being so ripped up. Um, but this truck is meant for off-road, grass, dirt, sand. Um, one of the things I would really like to do is take this out to Silver Lake. I think that'd be a really fun trip uh, with something like this and kind of trace a couple other side-by-sides within, within its class. I think that'd be a pretty neat little thing to do. But uh, all in all, it was actually a really decent vehicle. Um, I can't wait to see if there's any upgrades that people come out with, different um, you know, uh, trailing arm setups or what's kind of out to see in the future. So, uh, but yeah, all in all, it was definitely a great truck, and I uh, hope you guys see you guys in the next video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good one. Thank you.